Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I've got a self-love success story. Today it's from Fanny. Dear Agnes, I have a different type of love story for you. Although I started off as trying to manifest a specific person, now I'm at a point in my life where I finally fell in love with myself and I'm happier than ever. I hope I can contribute to your YouTube channel with this letter. I'm trying to write about everything as briefly as possible, but as it has been a long journey with many ups and downs, I don't want to miss out on any of the important information. Just a little bit of background about myself. My name is Fanny, I'm 22 years old and I'm living in Eastern Europe. I'm currently doing my master's degree and I'm working on becoming a traveler. I'm very close. I started watching your YouTube channel about one and a half years ago when we broke up. And I think many people start off like this. They are broken, hit the ground and seek for any solution possible. It was a very ugly breakup, to be honest. I was abroad when my ex broke up with me and he broke up with me via Facebook. He didn't even bother calling me or sending me a text. He just posted about being single. After that, while I was still abroad, he slept in our apartment in my bed with my ex best friend and then he moved to another country. So it was pretty ugly and I was shattered to say the least. But at the same time, I'm very proud of myself because I didn't let myself be destructive towards myself, but instead I started seeking for a solution. And that's how I discovered your YouTube channel. At first I only learned about the law of attraction, but I didn't practice meditation or anything. It was two months after, around December, that I started practicing meditation frequently. At that time, as I mentioned, I was trying to manifest him back. After about three weeks of doing self-love meditations, having long walks by the ocean and focusing on being happy and not giving up, he sent me a long text of apology. We slowly started talking again and I felt peaceful, but then the need and longing kicked in again and I messed up everything. We met and he used me for sex. It was around April last year. I was so angry that I blocked him on all social media and I decided that he is not the way to go for me. I was just fed up with everything. By that time, I also started having a lot of synchronicities, like seeing 1111 and stuff like that. I was waking up, but I was still very desperate. I tried to be strong for a couple of weeks and I'd crash and have a crying attack. It happened to me multiple times during the spring. Then in July, I went to Sri Lanka to do some volunteer work in a Buddhist temple for a month. I remember sitting on the beach one night and just meditating on all that had happened. And I just let everything go completely. It was such a relief. After the Sri Lankan trip, I went to Japan, which is one of the most craziest manifestations I could ever imagine. It's a completely along another story but let's just say i'd been saving up for a trip to japan for like 10 years and finally i did it this summer i still can't believe i was there i think something shifted in me during those summer months i got my bachelor's diploma which got me another kick then during the fall i met another guy it started off beautifully but then it turned out very very badly quickly I was not in the right mindset at all. I just needed someone to fill in a void, to not be bored during the weekdays. I also thought about my ex a lot and I was wondering how he was doing. I have a friend who is very spiritual and I remember that she posted about a certain day when the energies had amplified by 10 million percent. I don't know what happened, but I truly felt differently. I just felt this buzz in my body. I sat down and I wrote a letter to my ex to just tell him that I hope he's okay and that I wanted him to know that if he wants to talk to me, he can. I didn't send it to me, send it to him because he was blocked on everything. So I just wrote it on the computer to myself and let it go. I kid you not, three days after he showed up in front of my apartment. How? Now, not how, now he is living in another country and he came here for the holidays only. And we had a friendly talk. It was the last step for me in the letting go process. I felt like this huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. And now when I want to talk about this, about this is my last travel experience. I went to Morocco for three weeks as a volunteer and it was the craziest experience ever. I was guided there and I had the most amazing synchronicities during the whole time. 
Also, I made a lot of new friends. I've never met people before with whom I could talk to so openly and with whom we were just on the same perfect wavelength. It was so powerful that I actually got a tattoo immediately after I got home. We talked a lot about manifesting, spirituality and everything basically. Since then, I have been feeling so unstoppable, so free like a bird. Finally, I feel like I'm living the life I'm supposed to live. I have a lot of signs about where I need to go and I trust them and I'm finally on the right path. I'm able to open up to new experiences, let go of whatever wants to leave my life. It's such a perfect feeling. And yes, right now, if I could make a wish, I wouldn't wish for anything. I'm so grateful that I'm traveling, meeting new people, and I have more peace in my mind. I have a lot of new ideas and I can't wait to act on them. There is a lot more to this story. Honestly, I just wanted to write you briefly about my journey. I hope it's not as chaotic as my thinking right now. I'm such I'm in such a euphoria and it's a bit hard for me to concentrate when I'm in such an elated mood. Of course, I still have my ups and downs, but that's normal. But I can truly feel the difference in my thinking, my attitude towards myself and other people. Right now, I'm talking to my ex again as friends and I feel no anger, no frustration whatsoever towards him. I just wish him the best. Honestly, this is the first time in my life when I don't need a relationship because I'm truly happy with my life. If love comes, then it comes. If it doesn't, that's fine too. I'm dating around a bit, but not too seriously. I also discovered recently that I am bisexual and I'm incredibly proud of myself that it was no problem for me to accept myself just the way I am. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Yes, and thank you for everything. You just don't know how many lives you're changing with your YouTube channel. I wouldn't be here if I didn't find your work back then. Thank you so, so much. Many kisses, Fanny. Lovely. That's great. Thank you, Fanny, for writing that. It's always great when someone really gets in touch with their self-love and that they feel good about themselves. And from that place, everything else can be added on. So I will post this up. And Fanny, if you have time to comment in the threads, that would be lovely. Lots of love, everyone. And I will see you in the next YouTube.